was the unicorn. When I was with John in southern France in Carcassonne, the unicorn was very, very prominent. And in the museum, Musée de Cluny, the red tapestries are there showing the unicorn, the lady and the unicorn. And it's always been a special animal to me, the unicorn. So once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a king who was full of fear. He was a poor specimen of a king. He was afraid that his servants were trying to poison him. His cooks were going to poison him. And so he sent for the most cunning doctor in all the land, whose name was Dr. Slythe. And Dr. Slythe whispered in his ear and said, the only way to avoid being poisoned is to drink wine from a goblet made from the horn of a unicorn, to eat with a knife, fork, and spoon made from the horn of the unicorn. Oh, but the king, who was full of fear and was certain that he would be poisoned, said, how do I catch a unicorn? I've heard there are unicorns on my land, but such a beast is far too fast and fierce for my hounds. How do I catch a unicorn? And Dr. Slide whispered in his ear, the only way to catch a unicorn is to listen to the song of a fair young maid who is sweet, gentle, and her voice always pure and clear. So the king said, fetch me that girl. Now down in the village where the king lived, there was an orphan girl whose name was Zoe. And she was the quietest, gentlest girl in all the land. But Zoe had no mother and no father. She was an orphan from very early on. No brothers, no sisters. She was called nobody's child. They sent for Zoe. She had a sweet, pure, gentle voice. She was brought before the king and Dr. Slide. And they said to Zoe, Zoe, we would like to take you deep into the forest where you will sit under a birch tree and there you will sing the sweetest, gentlest song you know. And perhaps a unicorn will come and lay his head in your lap. Oh, Zoe was so excited, but she was afraid. 